We're here at game five against the Miami Heat. We have a 3-1 series lead, pretty commanding lead. We can't close this game out today. Got to hit y'all with some my player, man. Too much my team. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking for some my player. We know I got you. So like I said, we can't close this game out. Hope we do because I just don't like playing the Heat. AKA the Miami cheat. They just, it just seems like the Heat cheat so much. I never played a cheating team, but you see they're gonna leave me wide open first possession. You know that range is strange. Knock it down a strange range shot. That's the way I want to start the game off. Knock it down a nice three-pointer. You see right here, too late on the rotation. And I knocked down another jumper. You see me getting hyped right there. Not sure why. The game just started, D-Man. You need to chill a little bit. You know what? Go ahead and get hyped. We need that momentum, especially against this team. We inbound the ball. I see the whole right side of the court wide open. I'm going to go and shoot a little drifter, and that's going to drop. Usually, I'm dunking all the time, but I'm switching my game up a little bit right now. We're still losing 15-13. I'm being a little ball hog because I want to keep the game as close as possible. If you see me go in for the nice dunk, go ahead and replay that. Damn, damn, damn that boy good. Throwing it down over a couple people. The generated rookie was just way off with that block. And Haslam, he was down there, but he decided not to jump. He's a smart man. You're a good man, Haslam. It's funny because after seeing that dunk and that block attempt, that has me excited for NBA 2K14 because I just want to see how these blocks work. I just want to see a block dunk. I know I did see one in the trailer that was pretty nice. A few people think it's going to be overpowered, but I think it's going to be okay. But it's just not okay how it is now. Um, I actually want to get blocked a few times. There's a few times on a black top where I know that I should have been blocked, but it just can't happen, you know? And another thing I'm really excited for is just the game overall, the gameplay features as I go in. Damn, damn that boy good. Get out the way. Who was that, LeBron? I'm dunking on LeBron and my team and my player now. Where they do that at? I'm just excited for the gameplay overall. I know a few people are mad because it looks the exact same as NBA 2K13, but you can't really be mad at that because graphically, I think we're matched out on the 360 and PS3. 2K had pretty much done all they could to mass out the graphics. That's why it looks the same. The thing that matters to me is how it plays, how it feels. That's what I'm excited about. I don't know about some of y'all. As you see me drop off the pass to Ed Davis, He's going to give me that assist. I need to get my assist though because like I said, I've been ball hogging a little bit. But if you want to know, I am getting a PS4. I don't think I've came out and said that. Ah, oh, look at that turnover, man. That was a nice cut. I just messed up on the pass. Like I said, I am getting a PlayStation 4. A few people are asking that also. So yeah, check out this sequence. I'm a pump fake. I get blocked. Not sure how, but I pick it right back up. Go in for the dunk. That was just so nice right there. After I got blocked, picked up the ball. Like, Ooh, a piece of candy. Ran in, dumped it on Haslam. Now Haslam, I just caught you smart for not jumping. So why would you go and jump? You know the deal. D-Man is the real deal. No pickle. Straight throwing it down over Haslam. We're back on defense. I'm digging up Chapman. He's going to hop step, but my teammate's going to rotate over. You know I'm leaking out after he missed that shot. I see my boy DeMar DeRozan try to oop it to him, but they made me pass it to JC. Whatever. As long as his goal was in. I wanted to oop it, but Jose Calderon said, nah. No, let me just pull this jumper in the paint. You said they're bringing the double team and right there. I get another turnover. Let me explain that turnover real quick because I know y'all saw DeMar DeRozan open. When I bring up the icons, I don't actually look at the icons. I just use it for direct passing. And the pass, that's just more accurate. So I bring up the icons to pass it to DeMar DeRozan. And DeMar DeRozan, he's usually our three spot. So I press RB and S automatically. And they make me pass it across the court to Landry Fields. And it just happens all the time. As you see Bynum with the defense. What? I'm throwing it down. Damn, damn that boy good. LeBron just can't get enough of D-Man. Pause though. Like I said, my player dunking on LeBron. My team dunking on LeBron. Because everybody has LeBron, of course. And that was just a nice fast break poster. Kind of reminds me of Kobe Bryant on CP3. And look at Bynum with the defense. Yo, lately Bynum has been balling. I used to complain about Bynum because the Bynum struggle was real. But now it's all right. But this turnover struggle though, oh yeah, this turnover struggle is definitely real. I have about five or six turnovers right now. I lost count already. It just doesn't even stop, man. I just don't know how to hold on to the ball. You see, he's trying to force up a shot right there. I'm going to push you low court. I catch my boy DeMar DeRozan. I know I'm going to be open for this three. Mike Miller, you sag. I bag. That range is strange. Look, six turnovers. That's just, that's just terrible, man. I need to get my game together. 
There's no way we're going to beat the Heat if we keep playing like this. We are up by four, though. I'm going to find my boy Barg with the pick and pop. He's going to fade. Not down that jumper. I know Barg is automatic. He rarely misses. We're near the end of the third quarter. Up by three. You see they're bringing the double team. I'm passing around. They instantly double team, but I'm going to find my boy Landry. Landry just chilling down there. He almost got blocked by Mike Miller, too. I would have been mad. But at the same time, I would have been surprised, though. I've been blocked by Mike Miller. Mike Miller, he just be balling. Look, I pass off the Barg. I wanted him to shoot that three. And I pass it off to Landry this time. Look at Landry taking notes from D-Man. Taking off Statue of Liberty style. That was a strong drive by Landry. You see, we have about four seconds left. I'm trying to push it over court. I'm running. You know that range is strange. I'm fading. Damn, damn that boy good. Well, actually, I wasn't really fading. I guess I was drifting. Either way, it's a nice shot. We're going into the fourth. Up by three. I wish it was more, but hey, I can't complain. Once again, they bring their double team. I have to pass through DeMar DeRozan. Of course, he's not going to shoot. He never does. Shot clock wanted down. Spinning up under him. I'm going to hit Bynum. I definitely didn't want to take that last shot. Like I said, Bynum's been balling lately, so I kind of trust him. Not really. And on this possession, I get another turnover. I thought I was going to be able to push it up to Bynum, but the, he said nah. That's going to be a turnover. They're going to miss the layup, but Bosch gets it right back, lays it right back in. Now they're only down one. This game is just way too close. I'm in a post right now thinking about spinning off. They wouldn't let me, though. I hit Landry. Look at this. He's going to shoot a step back three. Not sure how he made that, especially over LeBron. I think LeBron was on him. But I'm not going to complain. Look at LeBron and his trickery. He's going to do an up and under. I've been doing it all game, so I can't get mad at him for doing it. He faked me out. He faked my teammate out. He faking everybody out. I was kind of mad right there. So you see me calling for the screen. I see the lane wide open. I'm going in. Just taking off from so far away. Looking like I had that MJ Hayne time for a second. Look how far I took off from. Just over everybody. Put the ball all up in the air. So nobody could grab it. Nobody could block it. End of the fourth quarter pretty much. Three minutes left. Not really the end. It's 76 to 76. You see the Heat are playing great defense. Once again, I mess up on the icon passing. Throw a Tony Romo pass out of bounds. Look at this, yo. Nine turnovers. I'm flirting with a triple-double right now. Does that count? I think it counts. That's just me. You see we're down by two right now. Miami Heat have completely taken over this game. I'm going to hit the mark. I'm going to call for it back, though. I just didn't want him to rush in and get that contact layup, man. Those things scare me. But you see, I get right past LeBron. Going in for the dunk. Quick ain't fair, right? And right here, I tried to get a steal. Norris Cole is going to try to go to the lane. But I'm going to get that rebound. And I'm going to pass it up to Landry. And he's going to cross to the top of the key. That leaves the wing wide open. I'm shooting that three. Damn, damn, damn that boy good. The range is strange. Just draining them from downtown. You see LeBron going in. Shooting fadeaways. That's LeBron on 2K for you. LeBron's not really that aggressive in real life, but yo, on 2K, he turns straight beast mode. He has his athleticism, his skill, but with Kobe's mentality, it's a scary thing. As you see me get a nice pass to DeMar DeRozan, he's going to get that layup. We're up by one right now. We need to score right here. This is a crucial possession. They're bringing the double team. I catch my boy Barg wide open. You know Barg doesn't miss. Except for when it matters the most. Come on, Barg. I know you're tired, but you have to knock that down, man. He was just so wide open. It shocked me when he missed that. But he was tired. Like I said he had that Gatorade symbol. And right here, LeBron is going to run through people like we're not even there. Come on, yo. How LeBron just going to push Bynum backwards like that? I'm talking about Bynum just glided backwards. We're down by one. We need a defensive stop. 30 seconds left in the game. We need to play great defense. You see Chalmers trying to shake and bake Landry Fields. Landry's not having it. Chalmers pulling up for the shot. Landry gets a block. I'm out on a fast break. A fast break is an easy two points. I try to hit DeMar. Look at this nonsense. I instantly paused the game. I dropped my controller. I was so mad right here. The first nine turnovers, that was my fault. But this right here, I'm blaming 2K. We needed this two points. And look at this. A simple chest pass. That's all I wanted. DeMar was wide open. But nope. 2K says, nah, you're going to fancy pass today, boy. You fancy passing. And they forced me to get another turnover. We have to foul. I was so mad, man. Because, like I said, we could have gone up by one and just played great defense. I know we would have stopped them some type of way. And we're down by three right now. And Bar says a great screen. And right there, I didn't want to fade. And I missed the clutch shot. 
I'm not even gonna run down court. The game is over. I had probably my worst game ever. 10 turnovers. Hey, that still counts as a triple double though, right? 37 points, 13 assists, and look, I will make that three. Don't make any type of sense. So the Heat hang on to play another game in this series. I'll let you all later. Peace. This team is a game away from putting this series to bed and moving on. Do you have to be careful not to think ahead to the next round at this point? Do I have to be careful? That doesn't even cross my mind. I do what I want when I want, and in my mind, we've already won the title. So this series is pretty irrelevant at this point since I'm picturing myself wearing a cheap hat and holding up that trophy right now. As far as Game 6 goes, lock it up, man. It's a done deal. We're moving on.